Now, I've got vested interest in doing what I am doing, and on this particular front, I want li uh, assets versus liabilities, right? I want to train gun owners, gun handlers, because it's our, it's our duty and responsibility to protect and serve, to protect ourselves and our loved ones and to serve our communities as responsible and trained gun handlers. And if you are responsible and trained, you should be carrying wherever the law permits. We are human beings and we are capable of momentary lapse of reason. Incidents happen on the flat range all the time. We don't want it to happen because I, I, I like to have fun on the range. I don't like grab ass on the range, but I love to have fun. But we can't do that unless everybody switched on with safety. My number one, and we're going we're gonna to fail this one a lot, is you, the gun handler, have to understand the status of your weapon system at all times. In a gunfight, it doesn't belong to you. It belongs to the person you are protecting or the guy who's six you are covering. So status, 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 it's life support. Two, three, and four are similar to what you've heard before. What's number two? Yep, finger off the trigger until we have an acceptable sight picture or made a conscious decision to shoot. Fingers off the trigger, finger off the trigger. Number three, never cover anything with the muzzle of your weapon system that you do not wish to destroy. Now. There will be times in this where we, uh, this is a hot gun right here, where we're moving downrange and then moving back up. So we have to be switched on. Finger off the trigger, good muzzle awareness, good comp compressor ready. We're not doing any of that stuff today, but tomorrow we'll do a lot of that little movements. So we need to be real switched on with that muzzle. And number four. Know what your target is, what's beyond it, what's in front of it, what's flanking it. Learn to perform a focal shift to see things in full spectrum. Train your eyeballs.